we we have to keep this standard. I go to a lot of restaurant kitchens. Yeah. This is amongst the cleanest kitchens I've seen. Thank you very much. I have to tell you that. Thank you very much. I'm trying to make it even better than this. Even better than this. In this country, the hygienic is very important. You see, even we clean with one drop on the floor. Because when something is on the floor, you step and then it goes everywhere. You see, you will not so find one drop on the floor. Even close to the wash basin, close to the sink, you will not find one drop of water on the floor. Because it's very dangerous. I used to work in uh, as a head chef in uh, Sharavana Bhavan. You've worked in Sharavana Bhavan? Yes. And I saw they cook with the passion. Running here and oh, there. I didn't know you worked in Sarvan Bhavan. So I was a head chef there. I used to cook every morning. Different, different. I didn't like the job. So then I said, no, I want to open my own restaurant. So then it was very difficult because uh, I found so many places. So they were asking too much goodwill and rent was too high. So I, I said, I can't afford. Then I went to Birmingham because Birmingham is cheap than London. Right. So I found one big uh, house behind there was a uh, catering factory. So I said I can do only the catering, supplying different different shops, uh, uh, function, events, uh, catering business. So I made the offer. This lady, she refused my offer, so she refused. Yeah. So I said maybe the Krishna doesn't want. So then I went to Leicester because Leicester is also a very cheap place. So I found one factory there. They were supplying food to hospitals prisoners and uh, homeless uh, care houses. So they were doing 70% non-veg and 30% vegetarian. And being a vegetarian, I said, I don't want to start with my mm -hmm. meat uh, supply. Yeah. So I made a calculation, I didn't suit me, so I said, I, I, I don't think I'm going to make your, money your, to recover my expenses. Your, your, your spirit has to be happy as well. Yes. The and then I said, okay, then, Krishna doesn't want. So then again I came to back. So then I was already head chef in Krishna Bhakti school in uh, Ilford. I so used to cook 600 children cooking every day. I used to cook lunch for them. 600 children the every school. day in the school. They have their own wow. kitchen. So, so then even then I was not happy there. So then again I said I want to open my restaurant but I can't afford this money so how I can, how God can help me. So one day I was sitting and my wife said, let's try to find a restaurant in central London. I said, central London is even more expensive than the, 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 the East London. So then she said, no, 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 something we will find. Maybe it was all business plan. So she opened a computer and she found this place was for sale. What was this place before? This place was a uh, uh, Spanish restaurant. So then we came here, we took appointment, we came here and uh, when I saw this place, it was horrible, very dirty, so much uh, I need money to uh, refurbish it. I said, wow. I can't afford this place. But my wife, she forced me, she said, no, this place is good for you. So then I got this place and then I knock down everything from the shutter, shop front, flooring, walls, toilet, bathroom, everything I made new. Incredible. And then I put one signboard, opening soon, vegetarian, vegan and vegetarian, vegan and gluten-free restaurant. People came and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm opening a restaurant. And she said, no. This is not uh, a good uh, choice. I said, what I have to do? They said, no, better you open vegan place. So I said, I have no experience. I'm vegetarian from the childhood. In my life, I had it. no meat, no fish, no egg, no smoking, no drinking. So then I said, okay. So then I said, what is the meaning of vegan? So he said, you don't have to use any dairy product. I said, then it's easy to do that as chef. So I opened the vegan restaurant. So pure vegan restaurant? Yes, 100% we are vegan. We are not using any anything from animals. Nothing. 
So this is almost ready for us. Because I go always with the time. I don't use any pressure cooker in my kitchen. Everything natural cooking. Why don't you use a pressure cooker? Because pressure cooker is not good. Because pressure cooker forced to cook the food. Food has to cook naturally, wow. not by force. With the steam, you don't feel the, the taste. The pressure cooker food is not tasty at all. If you go behind in our country, we used to cook everything on coal or uh, cow dung or wood fire without any pressure cooker and the flavor is really amazing flavors. I'm just serving. God has given me this opportunity to serve other people. Cook with the love and devotion and feed them. And you can see also our prizes. You're doing so well. Yes. Because our prizes are really reasonable prizes. Everybody can afford. Even I have a lot of students, bachelors. They live alone. They don't have to they don't have so much money to spend. Even the oil is clean because every day we use new oil, not whatever you fry today and tomorrow you use the next one. See? Really? Transparent, like a water. Sorry, my English is very poor, but... Listen, your English is... No, but I... I is 100%, let me tell you. No, 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 but you can see what I'm doing, that's important. Listen, you don't have to apologize. Pair of shoes, one for outside, one only for cooking, and one for serving. We have a three kinds of uniform, one for outside, one for only cooking, and third one for serving upstairs. All the employees, you see now he is black, uh, blue trouser and white shirt. When he will finish everything, he will go upstairs, he will have black trouser and green shirt. Healthy, wealthy vegan restaurant. Because this is also hygienic. You have to be clean all this. Here you are sweating and you go upstairs and you serve food with the same? No, no. And we have our own washing machine. Every day we wash everything there, everything. Because we use the best quality rice. We use extra I use VT Mega, extra long basmati rice, the best okay. rice. We don't save any money from the raw material because we want to use the best quality product. I use Spanish saffron filaments category 1. So we use the high quality the saffron. Highest, the highest grade. Yes, highest grade. You see? This is very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. But we want to feed, we don't want to cheat people, we want to feed people. You don't want to use food coloring? No. Artificial? No, no. no. Everything. You can, you can see. What metal is your pan? Everything here, all everything, utensils made with the steel metal. Even your pots and pans are sealed? Yes. Even the counter, even the, even the walls. Even our upstairs, the crockery people, we, we serve the thali, everything from stainless steel. The glass, the bowl, the thali. In India, we say, Tera tu skorpan. God is the creator. So we are, who we are to offer God something. We have nothing to offer. So whatever He has created, we are offering to Him. We have nothing to offer. He is the creator. So when we cook everything, we offer to God, please purify this food. Because all my sin, all my thought in the food goes while cooking. So please, I'm offering you, please purify this food for other living entities. So we can get also purification. That is the significance of offering food to the Lord.
Please, anything I have to improve my kitchen, I um, surrender you to he hear from you, listen from you, no. and accept your energy. energy. He will give you that energy. We don't need energy. He is the provider for everything. When you are doing seva, he will send you like a shower of energy. Really? 